Hey, how's it going? My name is Jason Buck, and I'm doing a. I'm gonna start doing instructional videos, information videos on kind of training and a little bit about blue healers and great Pyrenees, some other dogs. I've owned a bunch of different dogs and know a lot about a lot of them and nothing about a lot of them. So, these videos and take information out of them or you can take and say I'm an idiot and don't know what I'm talking about. Either one of those can start with me. What, boo? Come here. Come here and talk to the boy. Alright. Thumb high. Right. You know anything about blue healers, they bite. Blue, make me dance. Make me dance. There you go. Get him off of me, Freya. Get him off of me, Freya. There you go. Good job, guys. Alright, sit. Go play, Remy. Go play. Go play. Alright. Blue healers are the best dogs in the world. But if you don't know how to train that bite out of them and you can't handle that bite, there is no sense in even trying to give them. Because they will nip, they will bite, and they are aggressive. You know, most puppies are aggressive, but nothing like a healer. And if you don't know how to control it, there's no sense in even trying to get them. They are amazing, smart dogs, and <clears throat> The best dogs, aren't you blue? Aren't you blue? They are the best dogs. But they take a lot of work. And it, a lot of people say they're ranch dogs and everything else. You can have these dogs as pets, that's fine. Thing is, if you got a job, eight hour job, the reason they make good ranch dogs is because people on a ranch are outside all day. They can hang with these guys all day long. And that's all these dogs want, is be by your side and do whatever you're doing. They want to help you do everything you do. Blue, what are you digging for? Digging. They're ornery. They will pull your patience. They are like a little human two-year-old, is what they are, is a little two-year-old and not they're not for everybody just like a great pyrenees they're not for everybody if you can't handle a big big dog that you can't control then you're probably not going to be able to handle a great pyrenees they're amazing dogs and they are smart but they are stubborn and they don't listen very much so that's why i want to do these videos kind of let people know more about healers and more about great pyrenees and i mean border collies you can have them for just about anything really it just depends on where you get them you got to be careful with them because some of them have a bite but some of them don't just gotta you always got to worry about where you get your dogs some dogs are made to herd and some dogs are it's bred out of some blue healers you might find five percent of them that don't nip and bite the sweetest dogs in the world but that 95 percent of them if they're a true blue healer they're going to nip they're going to bite and they're going to be aggressive and if you don't know how to get that out of them there's no sense in trying to get them that's why you see so many of them in the rescues because nobody can handle them they think they're smart dogs they see mine Somebody else is well trained, they don't understand the training that goes involved in all that. A lot of time and everything else. Isn't that right, Freya? It's like Great Pyrenees. <laughs> they take a lot of training. They're not the easiest dogs to handle. But with the tra right training and time, they are good dogs. Any dog's a good dog with the right time and everything else. But if you ain't got the time for a healer, for a great Pyrenees or a ranch for a great Pyrenees, there's not no sense of it. And I think that's about it. What do you think, Blue? Come here. Come here. Come here. Alright, 
tell him bye. Blue, tell him bye. Tell him bye. Tell him bye. <laughs> the camera's right there. See the camera? Little show off. Am I gonna tell him bye? Alright, come here. Set. Roll. 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 Ah! Alright, come here. Good boy. Alright, y'all have a good day.